So, uh, you know, you ever, uh, you know, take a nap and then you, uh, you wake up and you're, uh, you know, kind of sniffly. Yeah, that's, that's what happened to me. I took a nap after work, you know, I was a little bit tired. And I, and I just kind of wanted to, you know, get a little bit of rest, you know, and wake up and, and uh, you know, you just you can feel like doing a video, you know what I mean? So, uh, what we have here is uh, essentially a tube, and you slap a bit on here, and you slap a bit on here, and put a little bit of electronics in there, and there's a little bit of stuff here, and then you put the, you know, the thing in the end, and then, you, then you've got a, you know, light, lightsaber kind of thing, you know? And that's uh, pretty much it. <laughs> oh, I just, I, I don't know, I'm sorry, I just can't get my, my norm done. Norm McDonald impression uh, going, but um, essentially, yeah, that's that's what this is. It's just a tube, and uh, and then there's some bits slapped on it, and some things wrapped around it, and then some stuff inside it, and then you've got yourself a lightsaber. But wow, it uh, it works. It works really well, and the best part about it is uh, it's it's uh, not going to roll away. Wow. Couldn't even couldn't even get it to roll away if I if I wanted to you know I'd have to th throw it, but I'm not going to do that because let me tell you something, uh, this this saber by uh, Blue Force Sabers they have a Etsy store. I love this saber I just love it oh my god it's totally fetch, seriously no um they uh the the fellow that made this thing he three three D printed uh this uh this here pommel. And, uh, and you know, when you, when you purchase it, you, you get a spare cause I guess, you know, there's, he's assuming that it, it could possibly break. It's held on by this one, uh, retention screw kind of electrum saber craft style. It just kind of slides over the end. Um, and then, you know, sort of the right about where my finger is, the, the, the tube just kind of ends and then you got the speaker sticks out and, um, it's really difficult because the speaker the speakers held onto a chassis with double sided tape, and uh, yeah, it's in there really tight because there's a eighteen six fifty uh, lithium ion battery in the chassis, and and all that just barely fits into this tube, so it's like really squished in. So in order to get the chassis out, you have to kind of get in like a screwdriver and sort of pry it, and then get started, and then you can get the chassis enough to just kind of pull it out and then, uh, you know, gives you uh, access to all the stuff in there. Um, there's a, there's a micro SD card um, for the, uh, for the fonts. Uh, the Sabre has a, a Nano Biscotti V4 in it, which, um, you know, that's a really, really basic, simple uh, soundboard, but I'm really, really fond of that particular soundboard. Uh, because it's easy to it's easy to customize, low on features, but it for what it does it does really well. Um, that being said, the speaker is uh, uh, I don't know what the what the wadge is, but it's, it's kind of a, kind of a chintzy little thing, and it doesn't really deliver that great a sound. It doesn't have it's not very bassy, but what I found is. That with the the chassis all the way in, the speaker ended up being here. So what I did was I kind of pulled the chassis out, so the speaker's like right up against this thing, and then I put it, pushed this in, and jammed it, and then you know you you, you do the you tighten the screw, and uh, so the speaker's right up against these holes here, and uh, so the sound's not too bad now. The way I have it, so that's one adjustment that I made. So you can see this pommel. I really like I really like the pommel. I like the weathering. Um I like I like what this what the what the fellow from uh, Blue Force did here. And there you go. I like it. <laughs> so um I'm not a big fan of O rings, but this is part of the ethos for uh, the saber. It's an aesthetic affectation that he likes to use. From near near as I can tell, uh seeing his sabers on uh his website, they're all kind of similarly constructed, you know, tube and then stuff on tube. But it works and I'm quite fond of it. Uh this is a suede wrap, a brown suede wrap. Don't you uh, step on my brown suede 
Lights are wrap of the room, which, yeah, I did that before. Can't resist. Uh, another uh, another O-ring, kind of like sort of, you know, centering this thing or uh, containing it or whatever. But this wrap is really well done. I have more expensive sabers where the wrap isn't quite as well done. I mean, it's, you know, the, the doing the wrap is just basically like, you know, some industrial strength glue and getting this thing on there really tight and, and um, you know, being consistent and even. And uh, this is this is really, really well done and it's super comfortable. I mean, overall, this saber is really comfortable, really well balanced and simple, 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 but a hell of a lot of fun. I, I, I. I absolutely love this thing. I really do. So for all my uh, knocking it, uh, that's just me being full of crap. So uh, blah, 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 blah. Here's the screw that holds the uh, the LED in place. And the LED is kind of a mix of uh, some kind of like red, red, blue, 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 red, some kind of nonsense like that uh, to create a purple. And uh, I'll, I'll get to that later. Hold on. We'll get to that later. <laughs> so he uh, triples down on the uh, O-rings here. And the O-rings kind of um, lock in the emitter. And the emitter is a direct correlation to the uh, the pommel in design. You don't get an extra, you don't get an extra emitter, I guess. Which is kind of funny because uh, here's your... Uh, Here's your blade retention screw, and then there's like another screw that kind of holds holds the emitter onto the tube. And um, I always, you know, when I put the blade in, because the blade kind of goes all the way down, so it's it's a nice deep socket. So that's that's friggin' sweet. Um, and then the blade retention screw, as you're tightening it, you're like, what is the 3D printed material made out of? No, but um. It's pretty solid stuff. I mean, I'm not going to test it. And right on when you're when you're on his site, I mean, it says that this isn't for heavy dueling. Um, and I can imagine that you know it, this could be susceptible to break. If, there, if this thing took a thwack, um, it, it would probably handle. You know, it'd be sort of like that. You know, how many thwacks does it take to get to the uh, Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? You know, and it would probably be like one, a tahu a three and then before you know it this thing starts cracking and and then the jig is up and then you have to kind of start using duct tape to hold the thing together but uh i'm not too worried about that because like i said i don't duel i wish i could and i've got better sabers for dueling i've got, I've got too many too many sabers I'm a saber hoarder got i've got issues psychological deep deep rooted psychological problems yeah Anyway, that's another video. Um, <laughs> so uh, go back a little bit so you can you can see a aforementioned tube, and uh, you got a little bit of a momentary switch. Um, I can't even remember if it's backlit. To be perfectly honest, I think it might be, but eh, whatever. Um, so the blade that I had in here originally was I just had pulled a, a blade off of another saber, and it was. Um, it was a um, just a Ultra Sabers, you know, whatever. Just I don't know what all the different blades they they have are called, but um, <clears throat> today I received a a very small shipment of blades from the custom saber shop. You know the ones I like that I always talk about and go on blah 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 blah. blah. I always talk about those things, and when I put that uh, the the new blade in here, the show blade, it really show showcases the. Um, the LEDs nicely and um, it, it makes for a very very beautiful amethyst violet uh, purple whatever the hell you want to call it and I quite like it so uh, yeah so this saber goes into deep sleep mode all on its lonesome uh, doesn't have a kill key or anything like that. Some nano biscotti v4s come with kill keys some do not um, Others are full RGB. This saber isn't. This is just a you know single color with flash on clash. Uh, so you've got your ignition, your swing sounds, um, your your blade retraction noise, your flash on clash sound, and um, and uh, that's it. There's no lock up. There's no blaster block. Nothing fancy schmancy like that. Apparently those uh, hadn't been invented when when this was first designed. Um, no one had even conceived of it. So let's uh let's boot it up. Uh you got your standard three fonts that come with 
the nano biscotti v4 you got light meat dark beak and gray meat um i think i've got it on dark meat i i can't really i don't really know which one's which so you get your growlies that it's not too bad that it's this sounds pretty good so as you can see the switch isn't backlit that's actually fine because that just draws more power and um any any power that's reserved for just keeping the saber going for as long as possible is just fine and i think it's helping that i have a red surface here but it's really drawing out the true color that you have for this blade it's it's really nice it's it's very very mace windu and uh so let me demonstrate the uh flash on clash i think i'll do it on the table rather than my leg when my leg needs a break So it's very subtle, but it's it's very, very nice. And so obviously this section here is your main grippy point. And uh, this is a very, very balanced light. Fairly responsive. Board. Sounds not too bad, considering the speaker's rather underwhelming. My modification is definitely helping. And, uh, yeah. I think this was worth the price I paid for it. I'm rather fond of this thing. It's easy on the arm. This thing's swings like a mother. It thing's really, really comfy to swing. Alright, so that's that's font number whatever this is. And you hold down. Font number two. A little bit bass here. So that's not bad. Font number three. Number three. This is the quietest of the lot. Well, actually in this space, not too bad. I don't particularly like this one. The swing's a little bit subtle. Press that one. And you hold it down and hear one beep. And you've got your saber muted. So that's a nice feature. Any saber that has a mute feature is always appreciated. For for multiple reasons. I mean, if you're doing a performance, um, you don't really need sound because no one's going to be able to hear it anyway. I don't know, over the clamor, the eventual oohs and ahs. <laughs> But um, if you're swinging around at home and people are sleeping or whatever, uh, obviously you don't want to keep people awake. I think I'm going to put this on. Not this one. That's the one I'm feeling now. Yeah. Overall, a very gratifying piece. So let's just get the uh, the visual tour going on one last time. I like the architecture of the uh, or the geometry present in this. I also kind of like how. Uh, You've got that little bit of space. That always seemed kind of weird to have that 
like this this area right here, like right up against the blade. I like the the space. That seems like from just a purely mechanical standpoint, it would make a lot more sense. And uh, actually, this does sort of have windows. That's the other thing I like. I like windows on my sabers. These windows are not the most amazing, but they're good enough. I like them. And then you get to this part. This is <laughs> probably the least interesting part. This isn't what I would say like a nickel plated finish. It's just, you know, a basic burnished finish. And that's not bad. There's a uh, kind of, these tend to be a little bit sharp. Not enough to injure you, but they do poke. And um, so that's, that's, that's my only, that's like the second issue other than the chintzy speaker. I would say, you know, that I might almost want to round that off. But if, if I did round it off, it would probably show like white or something underneath. And that would just be unappealing. So I'm just going to leave it and live with it as a warrior does. Uh, and the, the switch doesn't quite fit on there, but it, it, I think it's like filled in with something. So, and you know, it's, it doesn't rattle. It's in there tight. So not too bad. The, this wrap is kind of the second highlight of the thing. I really like the wrap on this one. And then down to the pommel. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and, uh, and then the opening, and then, of course, there's your uh, spare. Near as I can tell, it's identical to the other one with no uh, variance. You can see the inside. And it's, well, get better light. Yeah. Ah, to hell with it. <laughs> what am I going to do? Okay. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I got this... Uh, this saber from uh, Blue Force Sabers on the Etsy store. Um, they only made three. I bought one. And uh, I bought this because um, I had seen a review from uh, Gray Paladin for his. And it looks spectacular. And then, as one does, I go to the uh, Blue Force Sabers website and I see this thing. And I'm like, ooh, immediate buy. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Gray Paladin. And um, <clears throat> the third one that they made, someone out there has that. And uh, so it's a trifecta. Uh, these were made in 2017 and apparently just kind of sat around at his store until we came along and uh, bought them all up. Um, but they have, a, they have a lot of different uh, hilt designs um, at his uh, site. There, um, There's a lot there. There's G.I. Joe based ones. There's Marvel character based ones. Um, there's a She-Ra based one. Uh, they, uh, I believe there's, um, there's a Snake Eyes. Actually looks like a Katana. Uh, there's a, a slew of sound sabers that uh, have the, uh, the um, I forget what it's called, but it's a, an effects based soundboard that doesn't, uh, not a soundboard, but effects based stunt board with no sound but still you get your uh your flash on clash and your flicker and things like that so um those look pretty amazing um there's a venom and the venom comes with a uh what's the board that comes on that thing it's like a prism something or other and uh, that looks amazing so um definitely worth checking out uh very very colorful sabers they're all kind of constructed the same way with the tube and and throwing things on the tube so um pretty you know pretty simple um ethos but uh, or you know style of, of of doing this but um uh definitely definitely worth checking out so um there you go that's my review of uh of this particular saber and um the the name i have given this is the uh basilisk's tooth and basilisk 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 it's a difficult word to say when you put that extra s on the end of it basilisk's tooth but that's what i've named it because uh, i i kind of think of this as sort of like a you know ancient uh mythical creature type of weapon something that was 
I don't know. I mean, maybe if this was a little bit more, uh, more rough hewn or, um, you know, this could actually use some, uh, some like acid etching or something that would, that would really, really gussy this thing up. But as it stands, I'm going to leave it. And, um, Oh, the other thing is, um, uh, no, um, cover tech wheel, no, um, you know, and no rings. This saber, I've been actually thinking about that, and I think it would, it would, um, if if there was just like a bit of leather or something that made, you know, that was sort of put on here and then knotted and then made tight with a loop that you could put on your belt, I think that would serve this saber uh, perfectly well, or maybe some kind of leather sheath or something like that. For me, a saber, you know, like the Gen Three line when they don't have cover deck wheels or, um, you know, rings or whatever on them uh, for hanging off of a belt loop. Um, that's not a deal breaker. I don't know. It's just sort of like, I don't mind if, if those, those types of things aren't present. They don't, they're not, they don't, they don't kill it for me. Anyway, so this thing is probably, I've been sort of waiting for it to say, as, as I, as I told you, it sort of powers down, which is nice. scratching post but oops oh everything's okay everything's okay and that's the basilisk tooth Basil basilisk's tooth maybe i need a new name Anyway, I hope you like this review, and um, I'll come at you guys later with a, a special review for my Smooth Swing um, JQ Sabres um, Neopixel that I just acquired, which I've been having a lot of fun with. Alright, take care everybody. Have a good night, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye!